okay so what's up you guys and i am back with another video you know i had said in my last video that this pregnant 18 q a was coming or whatever so i'm gonna do that real quick for y'all yeah my face look clear and it's really not look anyways <clears throat> If you haven't already, like, comment, and subscribe. Join the family, you know. Let's, you know, let's be cousins. But now, nah, uh, let's get right into it, y'all. So, I had posted it on my Instagram, my Snapchat. Um, pregnant at 18 Q&A. And these are some of the questions that I picked out because some of y'all was asking some dumb stuff. And, um, yeah, we just gonna go with these questions or whatever. So, number one, I don't really, I don't really know. I don't, like, I don't, you know what? I do know. My biggest fear is having a daughter. But nah, I ain't gonna say that because it's not really a fear. I don't know. I just don't really want. I don't, I don't know. I I don't really have a. I can't think of a fear right now. Um, and y'all, I'm do, using this tablet because I'm on my phone and it was gonna be difficult. Okay, so how am I handling my pregnancy? Is it easy or hard? Um, I would probably lean more towards the hard side. I've never done this before, y'all. So it's like, what is this? You know, like just learning everything or whatever. But like, I yeah, I would I would lean more towards the hard side than easy, cause it definitely hasn't been easy. Um, how do you think your life would be if you weren't pregnant? Um, I don't really know. Probably the same. I still be doing the same stuff, honestly. Um, I would I would say school, but I had already changed. I had already came up with a different master plan than school, so I wouldn't really say that. Um, how did you feel when you found out you were pregnant? Now, if y'all seen the last video, y'all already know how I felt. Sad, crying, tears, the real whole oh, yeah, heartbroken done for basically um but then again i was sorry really didn't know how to feel I, I don't know a bunch of stuff i don't know whether to be happy sad, scared i don't know but um the next question is when is your due date um july 28th all the way next year How early really early but yeah i'm gonna have a leo baby y'all Depending on when it come, because, you know, like, with the dates, if it's a day off or so, it could be a different, um, it could have a different zodiac sign or whatever. I just want it to come in July. I don't want it to have no baby in August. Like, I feel like August is so late in the year. Like, I don't know. But, um, okay, anyways, the next question is, what kind of mama do you think you'll be? The best mama out here, period. But nah, uh, I feel like I would, I would be a good mom. Like, I don't know. I would I would say chill, but I really never had a kid before, so I can't just say chill. Or I'm not gonna try to be the cool mom because I'm gonna let them have it for sure. But I don't know. I just know I wouldn't say cool, but like low key kind of depends. Hopefully, I get a son, y'all, so that. I can't just be, you know, chill as heck, but, um, I don't know. I feel like I'm gonna be a good mom. I feel like, I don't really know how to feel about it, honestly. Uh, I feel like probably I'm gonna be really overprotective and a lot like my mom, probably. Mom is really overprotective. That's why I really do not need a daughter. So, Yeah. How tall are you is the next question. I am, um, what I am? 5'1", I think. 
Yeah, five one. Um, the next question is, what made you realize you were pregnant? Y'all, my stomach hurting every morning. And other than that, that was pretty much it. My stomach was just hurting, cramping every morning. And I was like, this is weird. Next question is, how far along are you? Y'all, today I made seven weeks, like seven weeks flat. So basically like a month and a half. A month and a week under a half, you know, cause a half would be, nah, a month and a half, yeah. Um, The next question is what foods do you catch yourself already craving? Um, I would say ranch, like, but not just ranch by itself, like ranch with something. Like if I if I want ranch, then I'll eat some pizza with some ranch, or like I'll eat some wings with some ranch, or like some pizza rolls or a pizza pocket or something. Anything with some ranch in it, you know, or like to dip it in there or whatever. Uh, and then nothing is beating seafood. Like I want seafood all the time. Like that's probably the only thing that I do be wanting to eat. Like I don't even be having an appetite. Like well, right now this last two weeks or whatever, I haven't really been having an appetite. But I'm not turning no shrimp down. Period. Yeah, and I like boiled shrimp and fried shrimp. So that's two things. And um, what else? I think it's one more. I don't know. I keep on wanting some pickles. And I don't even eat pickles like that. But uh, and then another thing the other day that I had um wanted was some Jolly Ranchers, y'all. And then my mom called me talking about like three hours later talking about, man, why am I craving Jolly Ranches? I just went to the store and bought a whole pack. And I was like, are you serious? What the heck? So I guess your mom could get your symptoms or whatever. I don't know. But yeah, that was that's pretty much about it that I'd be craving. Um, What do you want to have, a boy or a girl, and why? Okay, this question right here, I don't want to hear no back talk. Okay. Um, I want to have a boy. Honestly, I feel like that's really probably not going to happen because I want a boy so, so bad. And like most of my family, like most of all my family want me to have a boy. I can't think of nobody that really want me to have a girl besides like my friends and stuff because she going to have good hair and da 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 da. And what? I'm not worried about that. I don't know about like doing no hair anymore. I barely feel like doing my own hair. So I really want a boy, which I'm going to let his hair grow out too. But it's still, I just want a boy. Like boys are way chiller. Like with a girl, I got to be, oh, I feel like I got to worry at all times because it's a little girl, you know, like the world is just crazy now. But I would say I want a boy because, um, I'm like, I'm really a tomboy, y'all. Like, I I don't really, I'm not just, I am I can get girly or whatever. Like, I can get girly. But I'm more towards the tomboy side. Like, I would rather wear, like, I don't wear heels. I'm not the heel type. I'm going to put my Jordans on with whatever it is or whatever. So, with that being said, like, I feel like my daughter going to end up being a tomboy too. Like, because that's just how I am. So, why not just have a son? You know, we're going to be... Fresh J's, you know, the Nike fits, the Jordan units, all the way down, period. You know, I got to get him a little chain and stuff, you know. I don't know. I just rather have a son. Like, I mean, because it's like just so much chiller. Like, I seem like the type to have a son. Like, don't play with my son. Don't play with my son. Because we stepping, period. Like, I just don't want my daughter. Oh, my God. And I feel like, honestly, I am going to end up having a daughter because I don't want one so bad. But we're going to see what God has to bring, y'all. But let me just let you know that at the baby shower, I mean, the gender reveal, if that, that stuff come out pink, everybody go home, ain't nobody eating. Um, the next question is, was it hard to hide? Yes, it was hard to hide, y'all. I was planning on hiding it all the way until, like, January. Because, um, I don't know. I was really scared to tell people. But, like, I was planning on hiding it until January. 
and I say January because that's my birthday. My birthday is like January 17th. So I was going to be like, my parents was going to start to notice like, well, why are you not wanting to drink and stuff like that? Cause you know, it's your girl nasty 19. So they were going to be wondering like, why she not trying to turn up? Cause I had been talking about it or whatever. So that's, that was probably going to be as far as I could go with hiding it. So that didn't go as planned or whatever. But, um, the next question is, oh, and then another reason it was hard to hide because after I had told like my, my immediately, uh, immediately, my immediate family, like I had told, I think three of my friends. Yeah, three of my friends, and then I had told the kid's father, and then I had told, um, who else? My mom, my granny, my dad, my stepdad, like, them right there, they just, they started telling everybody else. So, you know, it was just like, well, it's out here now. So, um, the next question is, what is your baby's name going to start with? I'm glad y'all just asked that because y'all thought y'all were going to get the full name no sorry because i'm probably do a name reveal or something like that um but the baby name probably gonna start with a k i don't know uh before i even met my child's father i always liked the letter n and the letter uh the, the letter n and the letter k i don't know they're just pretty letters to me i guess the way they wrote i don't know Anyways, but yeah, it'll probably start with a K, boy or girl. So, yeah. And I already discussed, like, some of the names. Well, yeah, I discussed the names with my kid's father already, and he liked it them. He loved them, really. So, I guess we just gonna go with that. Um, the next question is, are you scared to give birth? Yes, because... I hear meats be tearing. I hear like it's this hurt so bad. The cramps be out of the. And I'm not trying to get an epidural because I hear that makes your back hurt later off in the years or whatever. So I really don't want to do that. But it's like I I don't know. Me, I'm so over dramatic and I don't know. I'm going to be in the hospital. They're going to need to put me in the hospital by my complete self because I'm going to be screaming at the top of my lung, trying my best not to get the epidural and stuff like that. I'm going to feel everything. So I'm going to be, oh, do not even speak to me. I'm going to be screaming, hollering at the top of my freaking lungs. I'm already knowing. I'm going to be screaming. I'm dying. But anyway, y'all, yes, I'm scared. Um, Will we get to see the baby as soon as you have it? that no the answer is no i don't know you know what actually i'm saying that right now i might feel different whenever the time comes but right now as of right well as of right now no because um a lot of you little girls be weird and y'all be really just wanting to see because oh, let me see if it if it's his baby let me see if it look like him i know who i know who my kid for okay this ain't this ain't true baby this ain't true um uh-uh no 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 i had started to think about it but no because a lot of people it's weird and they just gonna be passing my little baby picture around trying to see what's going on so i whenever i decide i want to post it or whatever and that's when it'll be but no probably not as soon as it happens or whatever i don't know how long it's gonna take but Y'all will see whenever I'm ready for y'all to see. Now, honestly, the people that I do, like, you know, I am close with or whatever, that's a different story for them. But all I'm going to say is that they not even allowed to post it. I mean, that would be kind of dumb. Um, but if I trust sending you the picture or whatever, then that you know who those people are anyways. Um, are you having morning sickness yet? Yes. I have not thrown up yet. Hold on, let me knock on some wood. But I do feel like nauseous or like um like queasy and nasty and just like blah all day. All day. Like 
I was just in here trying to eat me some crackers because I heard that crackers um help it go away or something like that. I don't know. But yeah, it's the worst. And it just started like, I think like last week when I made it to around like six weeks. Um, How did your mom and dad react to you telling them? I told y'all this in the last video. So I don't know who asked this, but um, my mom was, I mean, they, they was, I guess you could say they was chill. They didn't really had that much to say, but if you want the full little detail answer, just go watch the last video or whatever. Um, did the doctor ever tell you why they were, why their tests were showing negative and yours positive? Okay, so the doctor's test, when I went to the doctor, theirs was showing up negative and mine was positive way before theirs they never told me why that was happening which i'm sure they're not going to but i figured already what the i mean what it was like first response is a high dollar test honestly first response is like the best test that you can get they're like 20 dollars a pack plus um they, I, I don't know, I feel like the doctor's office is going to give you a free P-test, a free pregnancy test. So with you hearing the word free, you're not going to give out no $20 plus test for free. Okay, so when you think about it, free. Now the dollar store tests are like a dollar. So they wouldn't really be losing too much if the test is just a dollar. Okay, so I feel like they just has, they just use really cheap tests to where it takes longer for it to pick up. First response is so good that it can pick it up many and many days before your period is even due. Okay, so I feel like honestly, they test is just way cheaper. They use way cheaper tests than the first response test. So honestly, when they say go to the doctor to see if you're pregnant, you might as well go to the store and just get you a first response because the doctor's office is gonna end up telling you. If you already know you're pregnant for sure, and the doctor's office is telling you not something is wrong, just keep on going back. Um, what was your baby daddy's reaction? Y'all, I had said this in the last video, but like basically I had showed him the test and like my line was super faint on there, which boys don't really know that if your line is faint, then it's still, I mean, it's still pregnant or whatever. But like the line is faint, as you can see, it's really light. So he just was like, um, I don't know. He really didn't believe me at first. But then after I had took another one, like, right in front of him or whatever, he was like, okay, yeah, yeah you are or whatever. And, um, yeah, you can see the lines start getting darker. But anyways, I don't know. He didn't really have, after he seen that, he didn't really have too much to say. Uh, he, I feel like he already kind of, kind of knew, really. Um... I don't know, but yeah, that was that was basically it. Um, how many weeks are you? I think I answered that question already, huh? But seven weeks today. Um, are you having a gender reveal? Yes, I will be having a gender reveal. <sighs> I think like don't you you find out the gender of your baby like around fourteen weeks, so I have seven to go. So probably around the end of January or like the beginning of February, I'll be having a gender reveal somewhere in there. And I'm gonna be sending out my little invitations or whatever. Um, what does your baby daddy want you to have? Yeah, honestly, I don't even, I would say, I don't know, but actually I think that he would want, I think he want a son. So he want me to have a boy, but he don't really say, like, I guess he don't really be tripping. He don't really, like, whatever he get, he he fine with, I guess. I mean, he already has a daughter, so I would think that he really would want a son. But, um, I don't know, because he always joking about us having a daughter. So, I don't really know. But, y'all, yeah, that was it for the questions. And that's it for today or whatever. Oh, my nose is. That's it for today. Um, I'm not exactly sure what the next video will be about, but I'll be letting you guys know soon. And make sure you tune in on my Instagram, Snap, Facebook, 
it'll be down in the description box and without anything else for me to sit here and tell you guys like comment subscribe to your girl's channel join a family um yeah that's it